When you make a recording on the DJI goggles, it also records an SRT file, and that's a subtitle file that allows you to add flight statistics to your video when you edit the video. What we're going to look at here is a piece of software that I've developed. It's a free piece of software, and it allows you to manipulate that SRT file to display that content the way you want to display it. If you're making videos to upload to YouTube, and you want to put that content on your video, then this video might be for you. Let's get into it. What does this software do? First of all, let's have a look at the standard DJI SRT output. So what you're seeing here on the bottom of the screen is the standard SRT file. It basically lists all of the elements and all of the information. There's probably a lot of information there that you don't really want on your video. Now with the SRT editor, you can actually pick out the elements that you want and make your own custom SRT file. And what you're seeing here is an edited SRT file. I've basically got the delay, the bit rate, the flight time, the battery voltage, and I've also put the craft name in as well. The SRT editor also allows you to take that SRT file and pull each element out and make its own individual SRT file for each element. And this allows you to put each element at a different position on the screen and create an OSD look, a little bit like this. You can see here that in my video editing software, I've actually pulled in each one of those elements and I'm displaying each SRT file at a different position on the screen, giving an OSD type appearance. So this is what you can do with the SRT editor. Now let's have a look at where you can download it and how to actually use it. First thing you'll need to do is head over to my website, cubefpv.com. Go to the download section. And then on the downloads page, you'll see a link to the DJI SRT editor. So once we get there, you've up on the top left hand corner here, you've got your download. You can download the Excel file there. And on this page, we've got a little bit of an explanation about how to use the software and what all the features and functionality are. Okay, so as I said, when you download this, this is actually an Excel file. It's uh, an Excel file that's programmed in VBA script. So once you've downloaded that, you can open the Excel file up. And when you first open the file, because it's programmed in VBA script, you'll get this message up here. It's a security message. Just click Enable Content. The top page here has got some general information on it. We've then got the custom output page. So this is where you actually are going to make your custom SRT file. We've got another tab here, which you can use to trim the beginning and the end of the SRT file. And of course, we've also got the instructions here, which are the same instructions you just saw on the website. Well, let's head back to the custom output. First thing we're going to do is select an SRT file. Now we've got a file from a flight I did this morning. Okay, so here's the SRT file here. We'll just open that one up and it gives us the path to the file here. So here we have all of our options. Now what we can do is we can make a custom SRT output. So this is all going to be in one line and that's this column down here. Okay, so I might have a look at this. I might think the things that I need, I don't need the channel or the signal, but flight time is important. So I'm going to choose yes to include the flight time. I also want my UAV battery. This is the aircraft battery voltage. I'm going to choose that as well. And I think the, I don't need this, so I only need the delay and the bit rate. So you can see what we're doing here is filtering out all the information that we don't need. Now, if we just leave these checked and don't put anything here, it's going to put this as the label, flight time, which is the standard uh, DJI label that it puts in the SRT file. But if we want to use something else instead of that, we can type it here. Like I might call this flight time, and this might be Actually, I know what I'll do with this. I'm going to call this AV cell, the average cell voltage, because what we can do in this file, if we come down the bottom here, we can actually convert the UAV voltage to average cell voltage. And I like to put average cell voltage on my videos. So I'm just going to click this here. And of course, this one here is one that you'll want to use. This converts the time instead of what DJI does, uh, having the time as just seconds. This actually converts it to minutes and seconds. So I'm going to put a tick there. Okay, so this in this instance, we're going to output the these custom labels uh, with the flight time and the UAV battery. And if I come down here, I also chose the delay and bitmap. And I think I want delay with a capital D. So 
So I'm just going to put that there and bitrate the same. So it's going to use these custom labels instead. And one more option that I'm going to choose is this pilot name. Pilot or craft name, I'm just going to put my pilot name there. So then in this custom output, we're only going to have these values. So let's do that. We'll click on produce output. And there we go. So it's actually produced a file, a custom SRT file in the same directory. If we have a look here. So here's the original directory, here's the original SRT file, and here's my custom SRT output. Now if we open that up, we can see we've got fly time, average cell delay, and bit rate. Okay, so that's great. So how are we going to use that? What we need to do is import our video and the custom SRT file into a, our video editing software. Now I'm using uh, this one, VSDC Video Editor. Uh, all, all video editors are basically working the same way, so I'll just show you in this one. So once we're opened up here with your video editor, we're going to import the flight. So here's the flight here, we'll import that video. And then we're just going to import the sub file. Okay, so we're going to use the custom SRT that we just made. We're going to import that. I'm going to put that along the bottom of the screen here. Okay, so if we move up here a little bit, we'll see there it is there. And even shrink this in a little bit. Okay, so let's have a look at what that looks like. So when we produce the video, it's going to look like this. And you notice down the bottom there, we've got fly time, average cell voltage. And, and by, by the way, the flight time is in minutes. If we just skip up here a little bit, it's in minutes and seconds. So there we go, two minutes, 29 seconds. And we've got delay and bit rate. Okay, so we've got the important information and cut out all the information that we don't want. Okay, so that's one example. Let's have a look at, let's just delete that and let's have a look at something else now. Back in the SRT file editor, let's go back and we'll just uncheck these. We're not going to make that custom output, the string along the bottom of the screen. This time we're going to come over to the right hand side here and make some individual SRT files. So this will allow us to put each element at a different location on the screen. We're actually going to make, in this case, we're going to make four individual SRT files. So the ones we want are the same ones. We're just going to choose this one, battery, delay, bit rate. Okay, now what we can do is we can actually just make these with the value. And so it's just going to, in this case, it's actually just going to show the time. But if we want to put either this label or this label here, we can include the check uh, box here, which is include label. Okay, so we're going to go through and put labels on all of them. And of course, we've got these two options down the bottom here. Uh, it doesn't output the pilot name, by the way. Okay, let's just go through and produce the output there. And that's done. Okay, we'll go into the folder and we can see we've got more files. We've got the bitrate, an individual SRT file, we'll just open that up, and that one contains only bitrate. And then we've got the craft battery voltage. Uh, this is the custom one we made before. We've got delay and flight time. Okay, so what can we do with this? Let's go back to our video and we'll insert a sub file. Let's do bitrate. Okay, so I'm gonna put my bitrate down here. Okay, so we can see here it is, it's come in here, and we can actually overlay as many as we want. So I'm going to put delay, and that's going to come down here. Okay, if I move the slider a bit, we can actually see them there. So I'll come back to the beginning of the video. Let's put the other two in. Let's put our uh, battery craft voltage. So this is our average cell voltage. I always have this down in this part of the screen. And for this one, I'm actually going to change some of the values. Okay, and that's our average cell voltage. Let's go back to the beginning of the video. So we put our average cell voltage in. Next one we want is our flight time. So we're going to put this one up on the top hand right of the screen here. Okay, so this is how this is going to look. Let's do a little preview. So when you produce the video, 
skip forward a little bit. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, individual SRT outputs on the video and it sort of looks a little bit like an OSD. So in this way, you can create a video and have it looking like an OSD and actually sure you have your custom labels, for example, fly time, have your time in minutes and seconds and average cell voltage example if you, if you want to. Now there's one other thing you might want to do and that's to trim your video. So we're gonna have a look at another functionality of the SRT file editor and for this I'm just going to leave in fly, fly time. Now with the video, we might wanna cut the first say, let's cut the first 30 seconds off the video and we can actually trim the SRT file as well. I'm gonna go here near to the end of to the beginning of the video. Okay, there we go. If we look down here, we've trimmed off 30 seconds. We'll just do that trimming now. Okay, so there's 30 seconds from the beginning of the video. And at the end of the video, we're going to come up here to say, we don't want the end. So let's go three minutes and 30 seconds. And we just have to remember these two values. So three minutes and 30 seconds, we're also going to trim. There we go, and we're gonna cut that off. Okay, so here's the thing. With video editing, you can't just shrink. You can actually shrink this SRT file, but that's actually not going to align it properly. Okay, and the, most video editors don't have the ability to actually resequence these SRT files. Okay, so shrinking the SRT file like this is not going to help, it's not going to make it match up. Okay, we'll set that back. What we need to actually do is trim the SRT file and that, when we trim it, it actually redoes the timestamps. So I'm gonna get rid of this SRT file. We're going to come back to our editor and that's where we come over here to this trim file tab. Okay, so in this case, we just have to remember we we're going to trim zero minutes and 30 seconds off the front of the video. There we go. And at the end of the video, we're going to trim it at three minutes and 30 seconds. So we're just going to come down here, we're going to select our file, and the one we're doing is the flight time. We're just going to do it with one of the SRT files, just as an example. So you can see the file length is three minutes and, eight, and 58 seconds. We're trimming the first 30 seconds off, and we're trimming it after three minutes 30. So now we click on trim SRT file. That's done. Let's have a look back in the folder again. And now we'll see, we've got our flight time. This is the original one we created and the one that we trimmed. And now it's created another one with the word trimmed after it. So what we're going to do is we're going to import, we're actually going to move the video up to the front again. So this is time zero. We're going to import that trimmed sub file, this one here. So now, if we have a look at this. In this case, we can see that we've actually, uh, we've actually matched this up and, uh, and we've trimmed the SRT file to match the video. So there we go. We've got the custom output here, which you can use to make uh, either a custom combined output or individual SRT files. And then on this page here, you've got your functionality to be able to trim the SRT files as well. Okay, so that's it. Happy flight editing. If you found this video useful, do hit the subscribe and the like button below. It helps other people find the video too. And until next time, happy flying.